Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Uem Akban. It is such a pleasure to have you watch this video. Thank you for stopping by. In today's video, I want to speak about six blessings that you should not take for granted. There are so many blessings in our lives that sometimes out of familiarity, we may not know that there are blessings. We could see them as things that are just normal. There are so many blessings in life that God has given to us, not based on how much we deserve it, but because of his providence, his goodness. You know, God created man in the garden and gave man everything in abundance. Of course, that's the heart of the father to a child. And God being our father, he wants us to abound in every good thing. There are some blessings that over time, we inadvertently have taken it for granted without even knowing. The number one blessing, the blessing of sleeping and waking up. That could really be taken as something that is normal. You know, you sleep in the night, wake up in the morning. But is it that easy? There are a lot of things that happen in life. Some people go to bed, they don't wake up. Some people sleep and something happens in their home, in the comfort of their home. Something negative, something bad happens, something evil happens, and they don't get to wake up. Sleeping and waking up is a blessing from God. That's why the psalmist in Psalm 4 verse 8 says, in peace, I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. So it is only God that keeps you alive. It's only God that gives you the ability and the strength to sleep and wake up. There are people that can't even find sleep. They, they don't have the ability to sleep. It becomes a sickness. It becomes something that they have to medically go for checkup or medically treat. So for you to be able to have a good, convenient, comfortable sleep it is a blessing from God. And then to wake up, it is not your alarm clock that wakes you up. It's actually God that wakes you up. In peace, I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, keep me in safety. Point number two, the breath in your lungs is a blessing from God. For you to be able to breathe another day, it is a blessing. If you want to buy oxygen in the hospital, you know how much it would cost. So no matter the amount of money that you have, God gives you this blessing for free. You're not paying for it. It is a blessing. So every time you take a breath, thank God. And that is why you don't have to allow anxiety to steal that breath from you. You don't have to allow depression to steal that breath from you. This is a blessing from God because it is God's breath in you. And it keeps sustaining you at no cost. You're bound to be grateful to God for just sustenance of your breath. The third blessing is a blessing of good health. We know there are a lot of things that happen in our time now. Sicknesses, and I'm not trying to say that people that have sickness, that is because God do not want to bless them or they are doing something wrong. No. But if you are in a place that you are enjoying good health, thank God. It is a blessing from God and nothing to be taken for granted. Yeah, we have personal responsibilities of having to take care of our body. But even if you eat all the right food, which it is good to do that, to eat right and do the right things for your health. But even if you eat all the right food, it does not guarantee good health. And that is why good health is a blessing from God. Third John 3 says, I pray, I wish that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as that soul prospers. So as a believer, you don't need to get sick to ask God for healing so that you, it will be a proof that, oh, I'm a child of God. I pray to God and God healed me. Pray to God to be in health. Once you are in health, you will not have need for healing. Healing is the lesser blessing from health. Go for what's higher because your father's thoughts for you are always higher. He wishes that you be in health. So go for that. It was not God's original plan for sickness to attack us, to attack our body. That is why in Deuteronomy, the blessing that are listed, that one of the blessings says the fruit of your body. You're blessed in the fruit of your body, which is your body won't produce sickness. God did not originally plan for man to be sick. God planned for man to be in health originally. Sin came in and corrupted the nature. But now you have Christ. So because of his death and resurrection, you can get to a place of living in health and believing God for health. So health is a blessing from God. Go after it. If you are feeling sickness in your body, go after that blessing from God and receive it from him because he wishes to give it to you. And if you already have health, don't take it for granted. Thank God. Be grateful for it. 
show gratitude to God for keeping you in health. The fourth blessing that you should not take for granted is the blessing of going out and coming in. Sometimes you could think it's just a natural thing to leave your house, go out, and then come in safely. Nothing happens, and you feel it's just natural, you know, go out and come in. No, it is the grace of God and God's protection and providence that we go out and come in in safety. There are so many avenues for you to get into harm's way, so many avenues for you to be hot. And thank God that you go out and come in safely. It is a blessing from God. Deuteronomy chapter 28 says, In your coming in and your going out, blessed are you. In your going out and coming in. As when you leave your house and return, it is a blessing. Don't take it for granted. In Psalm 1 to 1, it also talks about God will preserve you in your going out and coming in. Which is, it is a blessing. It's not something to be taken for granted. It is not just natural to go out and come in. Yeah, people go out and come in, but be conscious of the fact that it is a blessing from God and nothing to be taken for granted. So every time you go out and come in, thank God. Be grateful to God. The fifth blessing that you should not take for granted is the blessing of safety, which the, the fourth one looks like he. But safety could be from so many things, you know, because being harmed or Having evil occur to you is not just by having to go out. Sometimes you can stay at home and still be hurt. You can stay at home and bad things still happen. So God wants to keep you safe. God is after your safety. God is after you doing well. The Bible says in Psalm 1 to 1 that the Lord is your keeper. The Lord is the one that keeps you safe. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day. That is safety. No evil thing in the daytime shall hurt you. Because it's not a literal term like going out and the sun beats you. And you'll be like, God, <laughs> they say the sun will not smite me by day. No, the sun shall not smite thee by day. Which is any evil thing that could be seen, accidents and all, God keeps you safe. The blessing of safety from God. He will preserve you from evil, the evil that can be seen and the evil that cannot be seen. And the moon shall not smite thee by night. So both seen and unseen evil, there is a blessing of safety from God. Key into that safety and not live in fear. Because God do not want you to live in fear as his child. So this is a blessing not to be taken for granted. If you've not already received this blessing and lived by it, Start going after it in faith and believe God for your safety. Believe God for your safety instead of living in fear. Believe God that it will keep you safe because the times are rough. A lot of evil is happening and it's only God that will keep you safe as he promised in his word. The sixth blessing that you are not supposed to take for granted is the blessing of prosperity. I know mentioning this, a lot of people could think different things because every time people think about or talk about prosperity, we think money. The prosperity is not just in money. The Bible says, I wish that thou mayest prosper. That word there is so rich. So you making it look like it's only money, you are actually downgrading it. It would be so wrong, even in context, it was like, I wish that thou mayest prosper. And it means that just to have, be rich, just to be rich. It's more than riches. It's wealth. You can prosper in the fruit of your land in the fruit of your labor, in the fruit of your body, like everything you do, it's about succeeding in everything you do and having, uh, like being empowered to succeed in everything that you get to do, prospering in everything. Joseph was in his master's house and the scripture says that he prospered in his master's house. So how did this slave prosper? By becoming richer than his master? No, but by everything he touched, becoming fruitful. And his master saw the evidence of that and said, well, since everything you touch is fruitful, now you're in charge of everything. So prosperity, the blessing of prosperity that you get to the office and you do everything excellently is a blessing from God not to be taken for granted. You get to places and then you're favored. It's a blessing that attracts favor to you. So that is a blessing not to be taken for granted. These are six blessings that you should be careful not to take for granted. And if you have not yet abound in these blessings, you can go to God in faith 
and start believing him for these blessings to be what you receive in your life. Also, there are so many other blessings that God has for us, which you should never take any of God's blessings for granted. So I would like to hear from you in the comment section, the blessings from God that you've experienced or the ones you want to experience and which you don't need to take for granted. So let's talk in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. God bless you. Stay safe. Bye.